Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Messages from Venus. This is Maddie and this is your reading for, um, the weekly reading for the week of uh, May 27th, 2019. So yes, I am back from vacation. I am back on, you guys. I have a lot of projects and a lot of things happening for myself, which I'm very proud of. Um, I've been working my fucking ass off. But anyway, um... If you guys would like a reading with me, all the information is in the description box. By the time you guys watch this video, all comments and things have been responded to. Emails have been responded to and my Etsy has probably been updated at least once or twice by now. So if you guys have not, have not um, been watching my channel, know that I'm only doing weekly readings now. And I do daily readings on my Insta, Insta snaps. Um, occasionally when I feel like there's a message to be given to people. I mean, there's always a message. However, it has to, to come from the universe. Um, I will try and see if I can get contact to, content to upload every day, etc. Starting from today. So, let's get started. And these are the messages for each element. So, this is for Earth Sign. This is the picture, and it says freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, Earth Signs. So for those of you that have been experiencing um, feelings like you have issues with road, road opening, like you guys can't have things together, like things aren't organized, know that it's all in your head. Things are definitely organized. Um, they might be backed up a little bit, but it's only because of your own doing. You have to get up and get a routine. You have to do things exactly how um, your intuition tells you. However, if, you know, nothing is going to come to you if you're just laying around doing nothing, okay? So let's see air signs. Let's see what the message is for the air signs. Air sign, this is your your card. And the message is transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all so for those of you that have been having issues not just in relationships in love relationships but acceptance of other people accepting things the way they are and adapting to change know that the only way that you will get through it is by loving yourself unconditionally so that then you can put other people either in front of you behind you on the side of you etc however you choose um this change in your relationship or in your way of of interacting with people um, will help you prosper or will, or will help you along with things. So let's see. Water signs. All right, water signs. This is your card and it reads forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So stay in the present. Stay in the present whether it comes to relationships um, that have to do with, with love prospects, relationships in the past, etc. Move on forward, respond to messages, um, and accept things that have already happened because you cannot change the past. However, you can move on from this point forward, no matter how hurtful things have been in the past. And when you get thoughts of the past and not wanting to accept them, just stop yourself and try to regroup your your mind, your thoughts, etc. So let's see. Fire signs. This is your your picture and it says uh, fire sign soulmate. Your soulmate is already within your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Okay. So for those of you that are single, for those of you that have not been wanting to believe that you do have someone that you can connect with, whether you connect with that person in your definition of a soulmate or a twin flame, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you are ready to look at yourself via the eyes of other people and that person. Um, otherwise, the relationship will be very difficult. So, uh, acceptance is key, you all. <laughs> all right, so... We're going to start off with Aries. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had to stop and restart the video because, of course, the doorbell rang. So let's start off with Aries, you guys. Um, I'm going to pull a card for each zodiac sign, starting with Aries. And then I will see what other messages come through once the bigger picture unfolds.
Okay, Aries. So you are complete. You are dancing to the your own rhythm and taking time for yourself um, and also taking turns with other people in, in regards to karma and exchange of energy. So now you're allowing other people to do what they think is best for themselves and not interfering so much. And what the outcome can be or what it is or what it will be, etc. So... Pisces, so you're looking at things in a perspective in, in the per perception of other people through other people's eyes, which is great, so that you're able to understand where other people are coming from and bring about um, problem resolutions. Sagittarius, balancing your life out is very important because this will bring about the attention that you need from other people. You will lead by example. Libra, um, only you have the wisdom, only you have the answers, only you have the control. No one else can control you, no one else can tell you what to do, um, and you shouldn't be trying to give other people validation or explanations of your actions because they too know that you are in control. That's why they can't stand you. <laughs> Leo, we have the three... Um, the energy of the three of wands, Leo, and so we are not only looking at things in a different manner, but we are also happy in regards to the future and what it might hold for us, especially for those of us that are single and looking to mingle. Um, we are looking for more um, perspective. For those of you that own your own businesses, you're looking for other ways to expand and share your ideas with others. However, when you do share those ideas with others, be careful because not everyone is out for your best interest. Aquarius, um, some of us are hurting over um, the pain of, of change, the pain of transformation, the pain of having to deal with sorrow, having to deal with things that cause you pain from other people. Um, you're hurt because you see other people go through certain things that they're not supposed to be going through. And so some somewhere along the line, they drag you through the mud. The number three is very important, Aquarius. You can either play it in the lottery, you, it, it, it'll happen in three days, three months, etc. Something big, something crazy that will cause you a ridiculous amount of pain will happen within threes. It will happen three times, day three, the hour three, etc. Make sure that you look out for the number three. Capricorn. So we're out here making money moves, Capricorn. Um, not just for yourself, but for your future. You are taking care of everyone, and everyone is used to you taking care of them. Just don't forget about yourself. Virgo. Um, we are holding on to our emotions and also cracking down on our emotions because we are drinking our own fruity tooty tea. Um, whatever it is that you say that is going to happen or that has happened or that will happen, um, is you're drinking your own Kool-Aid. No one else is believing that you will be able to accomplish, et cetera, et cetera, or that you will be able to be single or that you'll be able to do things in a certain relationship or accomplish things due to a lack of patience, love, or unconditional love. You believing yourself is enough for you to create your own world and look at things in a different way as well. Gemini, um, we are fighting odds. We are fighting people that tell us that we can't do certain things, that we have not been able to accomplish certain things, that we will not be able to accomplish certain things. We are fighting the odds, okay? Prove them wrong, Gemini. A lot of arguments within families and legalities as well, especially within relationships, I see for you, Gemini. Taurus, um, Taurus, you have been fighting the good old fight by yourself and you're no longer wanting to do that. You want your troops. You want people behind you. You want support. You want a support system. Um, let's see, cause I hope, I, th I think you're going to be able to get it before the end of the month and I hope you'll be satisfied with the support system that the universe will provide for you. Scorpio, um, learn your lessons, learn from your past mistakes, learn from your past drama, Scorpio. You don't want to repeat those lessons. You want to learn from them. And last but not least, cancer. Um, cancer, there is a lot of communication. There is a lot of back and forth. There is a lot of congratulating you for your um, accomplishments and the things that other people know that you will be able to continue to do. Um, lead by example. You are leading by example. Okay. 
I am done with each sign. However, let me see if I can pick up on any other messages for the week. I feel like some of us leading by example and 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 telling people what it is that we want and how we want it, especially when it comes to relationships and where relationships stand, is very hurtful because um, some people have not learned from their past, but other people have learned from their past and have been so successful that seeing you succeed and seeing you happy and seeing you in bliss hurts them. And so they will tell you that, you know, you hurt me because you're happy, but you're not going to sit here and pay any minds to any haters trying to get within your relationships um, and within the way that you run your life. For those of you that are listening to other people's opinion, please stop doing that as we speak. Even though some of you want um, back support, some of you guys want to see other people supporting you, other people fighting for you, other people expressing their un undivided um, love for you, but... Um, I don't think that's going to happen. What I feel like it's going to happen is that you're going to see people uh, not paying attention to what you want and fighting for what they want and what their emotions are. You're going to see a lot of selfishness uh, going on. But if you're smart, you will realize that those people that are self-centered cannot work in a group because they're only focused on themselves. Um, is either you continue to fight the good old fight on your own or... You wait for others to finish doing what they have to do to then do what you want to do for yourself. If I were you, I would just lead by example and quietly and patiently wait for them to realize that you're no longer there listening to their shenanigans, listening to what they want or 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 listening to to their arguing, bickering and their bitterness and their pettiness back and forth that you're doing things on your own, that you're setting an example, that you're setting goals for yourself, and therefore you're becoming a leader. They can either decide to stop arguing with you and uh, be beside you or get out of your life completely. Um, a lot of things are coming to a halt when it comes to projects. Um, you're completing a lot of things this week. A lot of things are getting completed. A lot, a lot of things that were on your to-do list for a very long time and you, you weren't able to complete them. So that's what I see for the week. A lot of completions and I hope everyone has a fantastic week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.